Today, we did lesson 3-2, Connecting Fractions and Division, Part 2. You were to solve division number stories and write number models to build an understanding of fractions as division. Let's work through a problem together. Julia, so I'm going to draw a picture, Julia... came home from school to find that her mom had made three sandwiches. Sandwich one, sandwich two, sandwich three. She had three friends with her. So if we have three friends, the four of them decided to share three sandwiches equally. How much did each friend's friend get. So I have my four people total and my three sandwiches. I need to divide it into how many? Each sandwich into four because there are four people. So here are my sandwiches into fourths. So then I'm going to go through and label them. One, 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 two, 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 Three, 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 four, four, four. If I'm Julia, how many pieces do I get? One, two, three. I get three out of how many total slices? Four. So I want you to remember that, and I'm going to circle it in red, the top number is the numerator. That is also the dividend, which is the number being divided. So your numerator and the number being divided, full circled in red, three sandwiches. Your numerator is three, and you had three sandwiches. The three sandwiches were being divided by... Four. That's your denominator or your divisor. The four people. Divisor, denominator, numerator, dividend. And our quotient or our answer to this problem that I'm going to circle in blue is, oops, is the three-fourths. Each person gets three-fourths of a sandwich, or three divided by four equals three over four. These two are the same. I just threw a lot at you, so let's go over what I just told you again. A fraction has a numerator. This is your numerator. And a denominator. We can think of a fraction as a division problem. The numerator, our top number, is the number being divided. So 2 divided by 3. So our denominator is also our divisor. It's the number that is dividing. And our fraction would be two-thirds. For example, let's say Mr. Bohr, Mr. Jankowski, and Mrs. Gordon all split two pizzas. So here's my two pizzas. One, two. My numerator is two. It is my dividend because it is the number being divided. The two pizzas, the numerator, is being divided by three people, the denominator. So if I break it into thirds, 
my two pieces, my numerator and my dividend, are being divided by 3, the denominator or the divisor, me, Mrs. Gordon, and Mr. Jankowski, we'd each get two-thirds. Here's my quotient. My answer, two-thirds of a pizza. Let's say I have the number three halves. Oops. Three halves. My numerator is 3, and my denominator is 2. This is a mixed number. I'm sorry. This is an improper fraction. So we still have a fraction, but we can figure out how many times 2 goes into 3. We know that to be 1, and I still have 1 half left. Let's draw it out. So if I have 2... And I split it. All right, I have three. Mm. And it's being split into halves. Mm. We've also talked about mixed numbers and improper fractions. So if I have this number, 3 halves, I have an improper fraction. I can change that to a mixed number, which is a whole number, 1, with my 1 half left over. Let's take a look at our homework. Fair share number problems with number models. Your directions say, solve each number story. Draw a picture and write a number model to show how you solve each problem. Mr. Chu is slicing four cantaloupes. So I'm going to draw four circles. One, two, three, four. Four cantaloupes for his class. There are 24 students in the class. If Mr. Chu cuts the cantaloupes to make an equal portion for each student, how many... How much of the whole cantaloupe will each student get? So I know how many slices I eventually have to get to. 24. Because there's 24 students. I only have 4 cantaloupes. So I know my factors of 4, of 24. So if I count by 4's, 4, 8, 12... 16, 20, 24, I know I need to split each cantaloupe into six to get the enough slices. So I'm going to first split each one into thirds and then split the thirds into halves because then I have six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Do I need to do any more? So I have six, twelve. 18, 24. I can't do much else. So, what is my fraction? My fraction is they would get 1 sixth. Or, they would get, I have 24 total slices. One, two, three, four. So the student will get one sixth cantaloupe, and my number model was what? We had four cantaloupe, we had to divide it by 24 students. That equals four 
twenty fourths or one sixth. Try the rest on your own.